Challenging the carnivore orthodoxy. Can you eat fruit on a carnivore diet, or does it completely go against the principles? It's a question that sparks debate and curiosity among those exploring the world of meat-based eating. The carnivore diet, known for its strict adherence to animal products, might seem fundamentally opposed to the inclusion of fruits. After all, fruits are plant-based foods primarily composed of carbohydrates. This essay delves into the heart of this intriguing question, exploring the potential benefits and risks of adding fruit to a carnivore diet. We'll navigate the complexities of this dietary approach, comparing it with the popular ketogenic diet, and examining the experiences of individuals who have embraced a carnivore lifestyle. Our goal is to provide you with the knowledge and insights to make informed decisions about your own dietary path. Whether you're a seasoned carnivore enthusiast or simply curious about this way of eating, join us as we unravel the mysteries surrounding fruit in the carnivore world. The carnivore diet, as its name suggests, focuses primarily on consuming animal-based foods. This dietary approach has gained popularity in recent years, with many people turning to it for various health reasons. This means loading your plate with meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and in some cases, dairy products. The idea is to eliminate plant-based foods entirely, focusing solely on animal-derived nutrition. The diet emphasizes nutrient-dense foods, prioritizing the consumption of muscle meat, organ meats, and bone marrow. These components are believed to provide a comprehensive range of essential nutrients that support overall health. Advocates of the carnivore diet often highlight its potential benefits, which include weight loss, improved blood sugar control, reduced inflammation, and increased energy levels. These benefits are often reported by individuals who have struggled with other dietary approaches. These benefits are attributed to the diet's high protein and fat content, coupled with its elimination of processed foods, sugars, and refined carbohydrates. By removing these elements, the diet aims to reduce the intake of harmful substances that can negatively impact health. By focusing on animal-based foods, the carnivore diet aims to provide the body with essential nutrients in their most bioavailable forms. This means that the nutrients are more easily absorbed and utilized by the body, potentially leading to better health outcomes. Proponents argue that this approach simplifies digestion, reduces gut inflammation, and optimizes nutrient absorption. The simplicity of the diet can also make it easier for some people to follow, as it removes the complexity of meal planning and food choices. Furthermore, the satiating nature of protein and fat can help regulate appetite and reduce cravings. This can be particularly beneficial for those who struggle with overeating or constant hunger on other diets. While the carnivore diet may offer potential benefits for some individuals, it's essential to approach it with a balanced perspective. Not everyone may experience the same results and individual responses can vary. Eliminating entire food groups can lead to nutrient deficiencies if not carefully managed. It's important to ensure that all nutritional needs are met, which may require supplementation or careful planning. Consulting with a healthcare professional before making significant dietary changes is crucial. They can provide personalized advice and help monitor health markers to ensure the diet is safe and effective for the individual. The carnivore diet, like many dietary approaches, has been subject to its fair share of myths and misconceptions. One common misconception is that it leads to nutrient deficiencies. While eliminating certain food groups can increase the risk of deficiencies, a well-planned carnivore diet that includes a variety of animal products can provide essential nutrients. Another myth is that the carnivore diet is inherently unhealthy due to its high saturated fat content. While excessive saturated fat intake can have negative health consequences, moderate amounts from healthy animal sources may not pose the same risks. Furthermore, the diet's emphasis on whole, unprocessed foods can contribute to overall health. Some critics argue that the carnivore diet is unsustainable and environmentally damaging. While it's true that animal agriculture can impact the environment, sustainable farming practices and responsible consumption choices can mitigate these concerns. It's essential to approach the carnivore diet with a critical eye, separating fact from fiction. Consulting with healthcare professionals and registered dietitians can provide evidence-based information and help you make informed decisions about your dietary choices to fruit or not to fruit. This section delves into the intriguing question of whether fruits should be included in a carnivore diet, a topic that has sparked considerable debate among nutritionists and diet enthusiasts alike. Exploring the potential benefits and drawbacks of incorporating fruits into a predominantly meat-based diet 
can help individuals make informed decisions about their nutritional choices. The inclusion of fruit in a carnivore diet is a topic of much debate. On one hand, some argue that fruits can offer essential nutrients that might be missing from an all-meat diet. Some proponents argue that small amounts of low-sugar fruits, such as berries, can provide antioxidants and fiber without significantly impacting blood sugar levels. These fruits are known for their high nutrient density and can be a valuable addition to the diet. They suggest that these fruits can add variety and flavor to an otherwise limited diet. The inclusion of fruits can make meals more enjoyable and less monotonous, which can be important for long-term adherence to the diet. However, others maintain that any amount of fruit contradicts the principles of a carnivore approach. They believe that the introduction of plant-based foods, even in small quantities, can undermine the diet's core philosophy. They argue that even small amounts of fructose, the sugar found in fruit, can disrupt metabolic processes and hinder the potential benefits of the diet. This perspective is rooted in the belief that the carnivore diet's success is largely due to its elimination of all plant-based foods. They emphasize that the carnivore diet's effectiveness lies in its strict adherence to animal-based foods. By focusing solely on meat, followers of the diet aim to achieve optimal health and performance. The decision of whether or not to include fruit in a carnivore diet is ultimately a personal one. It requires careful consideration of various factors, including individual health goals and dietary preferences. Factors to consider include individual health goals, tolerance to carbohydrates, and personal preferences. Consulting with a healthcare professional or a nutritionist can provide valuable insights tailored to your specific needs. If you're considering adding fruit to your carnivore diet, start with small amounts of low sugar options. This cautious approach allows you to gauge how your body reacts to the introduction of fruits and monitor your body's response. Pay attention to any changes in energy levels, digestion or cravings. Remember, listening to your body is key. Keeping a food journal can help track these changes and make adjustments as needed. Ultimately, the goal is to find a balance that supports your health and well-being. Carnivore versus Keto, a head-to-head -head comparison with a fruity twist. Today, we delve into the nuances of two popular dietary approaches that have garnered significant attention in the health and wellness community. The carnivore and ketogenic diets share some similarities, as both emphasize high fat and low carbohydrate intake. This common ground often leads to confusion about which diet might be more suitable for different individuals. However, there are key distinctions between the two, particularly regarding fruit consumption. While the ketogenic diet allows for some flexibility, the carnivore diet is much more stringent. The ketogenic diet allows for a limited amount of carbohydrates from sources like low-sugar fruits, vegetables and nuts. This inclusion can make the diet more palatable and easier to maintain for some people. In contrast, the carnivore diet is far more restrictive, advocating for the consumption of animal products exclusively. This means no fruits, vegetables, or plant-based foods are allowed. This difference in carbohydrate allowance stems from the distinct metabolic states each diet aims to achieve. The ketogenic diet seeks to maintain a state of ketosis, where the body burns fat for fuel. The ketogenic diet induces a state of ketosis, where the body utilizes ketones produced from fat as its primary energy source. This metabolic state can offer various health benefits including improved mental clarity and sustained energy levels. The carnivore diet, while also promoting fat burning, focuses on minimizing plant compounds that some individuals may find difficult to digest or tolerate. This can be particularly beneficial for those with certain autoimmune conditions or digestive issues. Fruits, even low sugar varieties, contain natural sugars and fibers that could potentially interfere with the desired metabolic effects of a strict carnivore approach. This is why the carnivore diet excludes them entirely. Ultimately, the choice between a carnivore and ketogenic approach depends on individual goals, preferences, and tolerances. Some may find the ketogenic diet's flexibility more appealing, while others might prefer the simplicity and strictness of the carnivore diet. Both diets offer potential benefits, but their strictness and sustainability should be carefully considered. It's essential to evaluate your own health needs and lifestyle before committing to either diet. Consulting with a healthcare professional can also provide valuable insights tailored to your specific situation.